Hey guys, welcome back to the Grace Posse Daily Devotion. Today we're going to wrap this week up with this devotion. What has you bound? Our scripture comes from Mark 2, 3. It says, bringing one sick of the palsy. This man who had been sick of the palsy was in an immobile state. Palsy is a term that was applied to a number of diseases in Jesus' time. It was used to describe a condition of a person who was unable to command movement in an area of their body. This man apparently was incapable of commanding movement that enabled him to walk. In, pal in palsy of this type, the muscles, tissue, blood vessels, bones, nerves, and every other physical attribute necessary for movement are present, but for some reason flesh rebels against the command. Our brain sends a signal to our arms and tells my hand to open and close, open and close, open and close. But with the palsy, the brain sends a signal, but the hand doesn't do anything. It just is drawn up. I should be able to move where, from where I am, but I can't. I'm stuck. I want to move, but I can't. I'm stuck in this place. I want to live like I'm... I don't want to live like I'm living, but I can't seem to change. I'm stuck in this condition. I want to be better, want a better life for my family, but I can't seem to make that happen. I'm stuck where I am. Men get angry when they feel stuck. They feel as if everybody else is moving and free. They have all the, the physical, mental, emotional attributes necessary for change and growth but they can't think they, they can still think and still feel they still have talents and skills they still have opportunities and possibilities but their inner spirit does not respond to command they are in a state of inner rebellion Stress turns into pressure and pressure into rage and constant rage creates a state of weariness. Webster defines weary in part as having your sense of pleasure exhausted. When you are weary, nothing is exciting. Everything seems bland. You become numb, unable to act, and even to believe for change. Every day seems like the day before. It doesn't matter if you live in the ghetto or a penthouse. If you're not liberated in your mind and encouraged in your spirit, you will feel as if you were in a jail cell. You will feel stress. Stress, anger, prejudice are not linked to any one race or level of income. They infect nearly every person. And if they become severe enough, they bring a person to a state of weariness, of numbness, and immobility. Such a person is sick of inner palsy. A man can get stuck in childhood memories. He can get stuck in teenage issues. He can get stuck in an adult problem. While one type of palsy leaves a person frozen, incapable of movement, another type of palsy leaves a person with spastic motions. A person cannot coordinate his movements or hold an object he desires to hold. Some men can't, can't hold a job. They can't hold a relationship together. They can't seem to hold on to finances or save money. They can't keep their word. A part of their lives is out of control. Lust is uh, lust out of control. Rage out of control. Bitterness out of control. The man with this type of palsy knows something is wrong with him, but he can't seem to do anything about it. The third type of palsy comes from sheer muscle exhaustion. A man's muscles become so worn out that he can't move. The mind, the emotions, and the spirit also become exhausted. If you have any, everyone around you drawing from you, you can quickly become depleted unless you have another means of making deposits into your life. 
That's true of your finances, your emotions, your ministry, your health. If you don't give back to yourself, you will soon have nothing to give out. It simply isn't possible to be continual encouragement to others and not become discouraged or drained or depleted in the process. You must avail yourself for conferences, meetings, seminars, and retreats to build you up and give something back to your spirit. Whatever the cause of this man's palsy, frozen muscles, spastic muscles, exhausted muscles, Jesus was and still is the great physician. Whatever he is, Paul, his palsy state, whatever your palsy state is today, Jesus holds the key to your freedom, healing, and an abundant life. The Bible tells us that David's family had, was taken captive in Ziklag, and David was greatly distressed. He encouraged himself in the, in the Lord his God, 1 Samuel 30, verse 6. Jude speaks of our, our building up ourselves on the most holy faith. How? By praying in the Holy Spirit and keeping ourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for unto eternal life. Look at Jude 20 and 21. It's only one chapter, so it's verse 20 and 21. Build yourself up in Jesus. Refuse to live in a frozen out of control or exhausted state, ask Jesus to impart to you his life. This is such a, a great day. we got a, just probably about a week and a half left of this study. Uh, I'm asking you to do two things. One, I'd like to see some comments on where you're at and, and how this is affecting you. Uh, how, how it's helping you, how it's blessing you. Uh, two, share this with people that you know. Share this with other men in the church. This group is not built just for 5, 10, 15 guys. It's built for a big group of guys that's a part of a local body. If you're, if you're a part of this group and you're not a part of Finley River Cowboy Church, get plugged into your ch a church somewhere or come be with us. But I, I want to encourage you guys to vocalize and, and make some noise so that the power of God can build, can use us to build the kingdom. And then Finley River Cowboy Church can make a difference in this community. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for these lessons that we've gotten. Father, we're thankful for the, the changes that it's, it's made in our lives. Father, we love you. We need you. We need this word. We need, we need to encourage one another. We need to lift one another up. We need to know that when one struggles, we all struggle. We need to know when one's having a good time and, being, and having a success, Father, we all share in that success because we're prayer warriors. We lift one another up. We encourage one another and we point people to Jesus. We point each other to Jesus. We're thankful, Father, that you love us. We're thankful, Father, for this word. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you next week.